Welcome to the intro to CCW series. In this video, we will connect a PanelView 800 to a Micro 850 controller and program basic screen and PLC functionality. Let's begin by starting a new program. Click new and enter the name for your project and select the project save location. Here we can select components based off the product part number or in our case via the network browsing feature, select existing devices. This will open up the connection browser connected to RS links. There are additional connections here that have been configured in RS links to allow for connection of our devices over Wi-Fi. Select the devices you wish to add to the project and click OK. Repeat until you have added all components required and click Add to Project. First, it is important to configure the IP address of the controller. This will change the addresses when the program is being downloaded to the controller. This can be different to the existing IP address that you have set for your controller over the network. However, note that you will lose connection after download of the program if this IP differs from the subnet that your computer is on. Double click on the panel view 800 in the project organizer window to start HMI configuration. Select the HMI orientation that you desire. The HMI settings workspace that will appear allows you to configure the PLCs the HMI will communicate with to reference tags from and the communications method. First select the communications protocol to Allen Bradley Ethernet CIP. Now set the IP address of PLC1 to the IP address you have configured previously for your controller. Ensure you save the changes you have made. To communicate with the PLC, we need our HMI set to a unique IP address on the same subnet as the controller. This is done on the HMI. Click Terminal Settings, Communication, Set Static IP Addresses, Click on IP address or subnet mask to change. The Tags tab allows you to create HMI tags and link these to controller tags. We will want to reference four tags from the PLC for our later program, so we can add four tags now by clicking Add. Alarms lets you create HMI alarms based on PLC tags. These cause notifications to appear along the top of the HMI that can be cleared. Screens allows you to open the workspace associated with creating how your HMI application will be displayed. Screen 1 is the home screen for the HMI application that you will create. Let us first begin this project by creating a ladder program in the PLC. This program will have two buttons which will be created on the HMI that control outputs on the PLC. To create and link these inputs to the HMI, create a new global variable to reference later. Once completed, open HMI screen 1 by double clicking. Note these screens can be renamed at any time for easy reference by right clicking and selecting rename. To create this screen, we will select the momentary push button entry tool from the toolbox and select the multi-state indicator to represent our output from the display tools. Configure each object by double clicking on it. This will open a configuration window to alter colors, names and more for each state of the object. Here we are selecting colors for different states of the push button and indicator and naming these states for display on the graphic object on screen. The properties toolbox will have a connection section. This will allow you to select tags that you have created which reference back to the controller. Here, we need to assign the corresponding PLC reference tags we created within the tag section of the project organizer. Double click tags. To create each tag, you will need to fill in the following. 
Address specifies which tag to reference to. Controller specifies which PLC to reference. Tag name allows for renaming of the tag referenced via the HMI. We will set up two tags for the buttons we want to create and two output references that we will use in our ladder diagram. Return to screen 1 and select the momentary button, navigate to the right tag under properties toolbox and select the momentary variable created. Do the same for the output indicator and select output 0 as the reference under read tag. To create navigation to a new page, select go to screen within the toolbox and place as required. This will be required in every HMI application in order to access the terminal settings of the HMI, including HMI settings and loading of HMI applications. In properties under navigation, screen allows you to choose where this will direct the user to. Create a new screen by right clicking on screens in the project organizer and select add screen. Under navigation, screen on the properties of the go to button you placed on screen 1, you can now select this new screen. For screen 2, create a maintained push button with a multi state indicator. Note when wanting maintained inputs, use the maintained push button tool in the toolbox. Open the properties of the objects on the HMI screen in order to configure the screen as you require. And ensure you reference your tags on the HMI objects. Open the HMI settings and validate the HMI application to ensure no errors. Once complete, ensure you save your application. Open the Micro 850 settings. To get your system running, you will first need to download the ladder program to the controller. If prompted, click download to overwrite existing program in the controller. Click yes to turn the controller into remote run mode. Once this is complete, download your HMI application. Double click to open your HMI settings and click download. Browse for your HMI over the network. When prompted, click yes to stop any loaded applications and click yes to start and load the new application. You now successfully know how to create a HMI application on a PanelView 800 and connect this to a Micro 850 controller to program basic screen and PLC functionality. That brings us to the end of the video. We hope you find the information valuable and this enables you to get started on your Micro 800 project.